New at 11, two brazen escapes from the Hamilton County Jail. Tonight, Jake Weil has video of their escape you'll only see on WCPO 9 News. You're inside the inmate intake area in the Hamilton County Justice Center. It's June 8th. Melissa Cordell is on a phone call at the top of your screen waiting to be booked in. She was given inmate attire due to her being cold in the intake area. Sheriff Charmaine McGuffey says a deputy enforcement officer should be sitting near the property clerk. The video shows no officer in sight. She could have been taking a break. She could have been delivering paperwork to somewhere. I mean, there could have been lots of reasons why she walked away. Cordell tests to see if a half door is unlocked. It is. She starts here to come behind this counter and then realizes something over here that maybe somebody's watching her. 10 seconds later, she sees her moment getting into the property area. Quickly gets behind these blind spots here, this big pole here, and this is a wall right here. So this person here cannot see her. On the left of the screen, another clerk is giving property back to inmates leaving jail. That clerk leaves the frame. And those inmates begin the process of going through another secured door. Back at that property area, Cordell waits 40 seconds, takes off her inmate garb, and heads out that area to the second door. She was in close enough proximity to them walking out the door from getting their property that the officer thought she was a part of this group. Cordell escaped, but was captured one day later. Now to June 20th, George Bridewell is being booked in on a drug possession charge. He is in a holding tank waiting to be arraigned. Meanwhile, in the same area, a deputy is getting people out of the cell to be released. So he's calling out names and he's getting those people out. Now this gentleman right here, he says, wait a minute, you're not on the list. So he makes him go back in, tells this officer here, shut that door. The door to the cell locks with Bridewell inside. The inmates waiting for release head to a data entry office to be processed to leave the jail. Meanwhile, public defenders ask to open the cell door to gather information on each inmate's case. This is a process that's been in place for de a decade or more, I'm sure. And so they get this guy out. She's calling another name to get someone else out to interview. And this is where they collect some information. So as you can see, this door stays open. And that is the problem. The public defenders are occupied. Nobody is standing watch. Bridewell sees an opportunity and takes it. Security should be standing at that door, but because they're used to opening it, and here's our guy. You see, he popped out and then he went around the corner. The next step in his escape, blending in. He now stepped out because he knows they're getting ready to all leave. He moves into the area where other inmates are being processed to leave. Minutes later, here they come. There he is. Bridewell walks with the group to the property area. For Bridewell, it's one last door to freedom. You'll notice the officer looks at this guy, but he there's so many people coming and going and being released. It's hard to keep track of who's who's who and we fixed that as well. Bridewell would later be captured. There's been four escapes in the past three weeks. All of those come with an additional felony charge and possible prison time. Jake Ryle to be CPO 9 News.